Hello, how are you? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's a girl on zero P. Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to even start this off, but let's start with saying I hope all of you are doing well. I hope this pre-fall is off to a great start. I hope September is off to a great start. Today is what? Where's my phone? Today is Friday, September 6th. 6th, 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 6th whatever. Um, hopefully y'all will be seeing this video tomorrow. But as you can see from the title, this is a bit different from what we have done, what we have explored prior. But to put it plainly, the reason for that is I'm about to be 28 and I'm going through what feels like a very transitional phase of I am so unafraid and I just want to do all the things. You get what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm throwing caution to the wind. I'm gonna do everything on everything on everything with everything. You get what I'm saying? And if it's nothing else that capitalism has shown me is that I have to have very strategic methods of survival. Mainly that are rooted in joy. That are rooted in joy. You know what I mean? I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to have 50,000 streams of income. I don't want to do this because of this and that because of that and this because of this. I want to do something. And when I ask myself or when people ask me like, why are you doing that? Because I enjoy it. Because I like it. Because it's fun. Because it makes me happy. You know what I mean? So with that, we have hobbies. We have hobbies, I'm not gonna lie. My period of being unemployed has allowed me to fully throw myself into so many of the hobbies that I've been trying for years to get back to. I talked about it a little bit on my story, but I got a Kindle. Within one month of me having a Kindle, excuse me, I read like six, seven books. Like it was serious to the point where I had to tell myself, Nadira, it's two o'clock in the morning. You can read two more pages and you need to go to bed. Like it was that serious and I really enjoyed it. So now I'm like, I want to get into all my hobbies and I love my Kindle. I love my uh, Switch, you know, I be gaming, whatever. I love my coloring books that I haven't touched those in a while. Um, the only two things left for me to do, like hobbies that I enjoy, are working out and sewing. And I'm pleased to say I've been sewing and I'm scheduled to go work out today. And so that's what I want y'all to do with me today. I want us to hobby together. Now, I know absolutely nothing about sewing. Like nothing, nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. I know the basics, but I don't know how to sew. Like I've never, I've never sewn before. Yesterday, let me show you. Yesterday, I made this. This is just like a scrap sheet where I was testing out like different um, stitches. And wait, I, I had these pair of pants, these Liz Claiborne pants that I actually thrifted that I couldn't fit anymore. And I turned them into a skirt. And I can't even begin to tell you like how much pleasure this has brought me, like how proud this has made me. And I think we talked maybe, um, maybe the last vlog, maybe the vlog before last. Oh, the last vlog for sure. We talked about me building up trust for myself and me communicating to my mind, to my body, to my spirit that no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what the anxiety is doing, no matter what I'm going through, I am capable of doing hard things. And I loved making that skirt, but it was difficult. It was hard. I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm on Google, I'm on YouTube, I'm on TikTok. I'm watching video after video after video. I'm, you know, watching resources. I'm trying to figure out the best products. And at first, like, I was so overwhelmed by the thought of taking these pants cutting them open and then sewing them on the sides to make a skirt. Like my mind was like, oh my God, like this is scary. I don't want to do this, but I'm like, girl, 
You can do hard things. I promise you. I swear to God, you can do hard things, Nadira. And I did it. And I feel good about myself. I feel accomplished. I feel like I trust myself. I feel like I love myself. I feel like that girl. You feel what I'm saying? And I love this feeling. The feeling of getting things done. The feeling of accomplishing something. The feeling of succeeding. The feeling of just having the courage to try and making it through is like such a good feeling and i'm not gonna lie no matter how much success i've had in the workplace nothing compares to the pleasure that i have from doing my hobbies like nothing nothing like if i do great at work i'm like oh yeah i guess i'll get that paycheck but when i do great at my hobby amazing so i'm going to attempt to make an abaya um, that is the hobby that I'm hyper fixating on focusing on today. So I'm going to take you guys with me to the fabric store. Um, and then when we come back home, I'm going to show you the machine that I have. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I brought. Um, and then we'll sew together. We'll chit chat a little bit. Hopefully this video won't be super, super long. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to stick around for the entire duration until the dress is made, but I promise whether... No, let me not say whether on here or on Instagram, both. I'm going to show you the finished product if I have the finished product. Um, luckily, a lot works in such mysterious ways. This is a hobby that my mother actually picked up maybe almost 10 years ago. So she has just loads of stuff for me to use. Fabric, machines, tools, sergers, like everything, everything, everything. Alhamdulillah, 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 Allahu Akbar. So yes, I'm gonna check in because I am leaving the house right now, but I have a couple errands to run before we can make it to the fabric store, but I do need to get a freaking move on it, okay? So let me get her done, let me get started, let me get going. Of course, I'm gonna have you guys with me and I will check in when we make it to the fabric store. All right, BRB. cats and kittens it is many 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 hours later um the last time i saw you guys i was picking up hold on wait i gotta do the reveal i was picking up uh, my fabric i wasn't talking much in the fabric store and i wasn't showing y'all much because when i got there it was 4 34 and they closed at 5 and i already knew what i was looking for what i wanted what colorway whatever so i just wanted to pick up my stuff and go I found this, it looks pink. Like in the camera, it looks pink. But this is like a wine, like a wine color. This is uh, taffeta. I think it's stretchy taffeta. Yeah, it's a stretchy taffeta. Beautiful, amazing, luxurious. I wanted something with some shape. I wanted something that, I wanted like a reddish color, but I did not want red. So this is like a wine, like a Merlot kind of. It looks so pink on camera and that's getting on my nerves. I assure you it's not. It's closer to like burgundy. Um, but I'm tired now and I need to cook dinner and I need to clean this kitchen and I need to get myself together. Inshallah, we're gonna do some work on it tonight. Hopefully we will finish it tonight. Um, but I need to get myself together and then we're gonna check in and we're gonna see you. Okay, babe? Okay. 
Hello and good morning, girly pops. Um, we're back. We're back with our sewing. We're back with the things that we have to do. Um, today's what? Thursday the 12th? Yesterday was my birthday. Um, but I literally have not touched any of my sewing stuff since I saw you guys last time. And I think that was what? Monday? Monday, Tuesday? No, maybe more than that. Yeah, I think it was like Monday. Um, but I'm sewing something because I have to go to a wedding. And the wedding that I have to go to is tomorrow. And it's tomorrow in Baltimore. And I'm leaving at like 8 a.m. for the three hour drive. And I have to go to the wedding, I have to go see my family, whatever. So something needs to get sewed, okay? Something needs to get sewn today. So this is the fabric. Um, it's about arm's length. So a little bit shorter than anticipated, but if we just, these like fringe edges, if we just fold these, it'll have the look that I wanted to have. Um, but we need to get going. So I measured one of my other dresses and I'm gonna show you guys the dress that I'm, I'm trying to make. And basically for this, I have to sew two lines down the down these sides okay and then i'll probably put a belt on the inside because y'all know I me mean. now another dress that i have i think the slits are from like 14 inches in are the slits but that is much wider than this fabric so i want to lay this out I want to do some measurements. I want to do some of my own measurements and then we'll see. So give me one second. Let me set this up. Okay. All right. Oh, the measuring tape is upstairs. Okay. We need to figure out. I'm going to my piece of the camera. We need to figure out how wide this is because it's not from like my fingertip to my fingertip, but I think it is from like my wrist to my wrist. So we need to figure out how wide this is. We need to figure out where the lines are gonna start and then how far down I'm gonna start sewing. Um, so let me go get the measuring tape. Let me get my morning cup of tea and then we're gonna get her done. I just thought about it and another reason um i feel so strongly about my hobbies but especially about this hobby it's going to help me with my constant need for perfection like i'm learning <laughs> and even after i learn nothing is going to be perfect um and that's okay like things don't need to be perfect in order for them to still be nice them to still be beautiful them to still be worthy right so yeah, um, okay, first order of business, and I saw the girls talking about this on TikTok, and my mom, who has sewn for years, or who used to sew, didn't even know about these, but these are, hold on, these are fabric clips. So with fabric that like slips and slides, which is like a lot of fabric, and, and like the measuring process, it can shift and all of that, you can use these clips to keep it from doing that. So now that I have it lined up, I just wanna clip it. So that while I'm measuring and whatever, whatever, um, it won't be like slipping and sliding everywhere. Crap. So just clip it, you know what I mean? And that's a good thing, these clips don't shift. So like, I can turn the fabric and throw it and whatever and they'll be fine. They will be just fine.
So before we get too carried away, here are some things that I bought. Um, again, this is a hobby my mother used to have, so there's a lot of things that she already had. But some of the things I got, I got these pens. Um, and again, all of this is from Hobby Lobby. So I got these pens, uh, you know, just to help with sewing, you need some pens. I got this chalk, ooh. I got this chalk. Um, and they, it comes with a blue one and with a white one. I got, oh, this, which I think is so cute. This is a magnetic, like, uh, pen holder. What is it called? Pen and needle catcher. So that when I'm using the pens, I can just swipe this over the area and get them all up. And what else did I get? Oh, and I got the clips. I got these clips. I thought this was good enough. Like, I didn't feel like I needed a whole bunch of other clips. Like, these were just fine. And this is, this is $8 for 25 clips. And they are really good clips. Like, they work. They definitely work. Okay, so now that we got that all clipped up. Let me put all this stuff back. Let's take some measurements. So wrist to wrist, put W to W is 56. Shoulder to waist is, what do we say, 20? So that's like where a belt would need to go. Now, oh, y'all can't even see me. Now we need to measure the fabric. Like we need to see how wide that is if my wrist and my wrist is 56. Okay, let's see. From... Okay, so from end to end on here is about 58. So we do have a little bit, it'll be like a little bit over uh, my wrist, but other than that, it's like perfect. So now I need to know from my shoulder to my wrist, because my shoulder is like where my body, you know, is, is what? That's like 23. So if we sew this at 23 inches in, that's too big. That's way too big. Cause I don't want it to like contour to my body. Especially 23 at each end is like, girl, where am I gonna fit at? So, I think the other dress was like 19 inches in was where they started sewing down. Let me get my chalk. And like mark where I see this. So this is 19. I think that's still way too much. If you ask me, the fabric is actually supposed to be inside out. <laughs> Okay, so when you sew, you're supposed to sew from the inside out. So, um, I gotta switch this around. <sighs> See, girls, it's a learning process. Especially before I start, like, I gotta take all these clips out. Before I start, like, um, marking stuff. Well, is it inside out? No, there's a clear difference. Like, this is the outside, and this is the inside. You can't really notice. Yeah, you can. You can see how there's like grooves here, but on the inside there's not. It's like, yeah. Okay, let's turn it inside out. Mashallah. Everything is landing. Don't ask me why this vacuum is over here, girl. It's actually getting on my nerves. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> look away. Uh, 
But I definitely want to do it inside out before like I start marking stuff. Because if I start marking stuff and I sew the wrong way, it's going to look so dumb. Even though with this kind of dress, I don't think it really matters. You know what I mean? But just for the sake of teaching myself to do everything the correct way, let's turn it inside out. Hey Siri, what time is it? Okay, it's so early. I don't know. But I don't know if it's a healthy thing. When I have something to do, I try, like in the morning, to get up and get something done before I get hungry. And now that I think about it, I don't know if that's healthy, but I don't know if that's healthy, but yeah. So I'm trying to like, I like got up, I had some water. Um, and I'm like, I want to get like, I, I at least want to get all my measurements done and everything marked out before I start sewing. Let me finish this clip in. Um, and then I'll come back when we can mark up our fabric and start to put some pins. So this is where the seam will start. So I marked down, um, all the way down to where I want it, like 14 inches from, uh, this right here. I don't know. I don't know the technical names for this y'all. Okay. It's only my third day out here. So I just uh, marked 14 inches from here and I marked it all the way down. Now I'm going to draw a line all the way down. So, and then I'm going to pin it on the line. Um, we're, we're getting close, girlies, okay? Just trying to make sure that this is straight, as straight as I can get it. Okay, I think that's I think that's pretty straight. Again, nothing needs to be perfect. So now we're just going to um, we're gonna pin it so I can finally open my magnetic pin cushion. Let's get to pinning. Okay, now that everything is all pinned up, I want to mark the neckline. I don't want to cut it yet, um, but we have our two points. So I calculated the middle of the middle. So I have my two points that are 14 inches. So in between that, this is the middle. And I think we're gonna make the neckline like 12. So I put um, six here, and then this is the point in the middle, and we're gonna do six inches from here and then six inches on this side so now i think we're ready to start sewing okay i'm also just realizing girl i'm literally doing this on my dining room table because we do what we have to but i never showed y'all what machine i have i have the brother lx3817 which apparently is a really good like beginner's machine i think i checked and it retails for like 70 to 80 dollars so now I'm just adding uh, this pink thread to the bobbin. This is the closest thing that we have. I would have preferred like a burgundy, but whatever, it's okay. There we go, I know the light is behind me. So we put the bobbin in, um, easy breezy. I also really love this machine because it's like super 
um, it's like super easy to thread. So yeah, yeah. Oh my God, this. It's like super super easy. This part down here is the hardest part, like trying to get it around this loop. And then bring that kind of hmm. We're gonna try to put it through here. This is like a very humbling part. I know y'all see me licking this. <laughs> That's a trick to get the um the things to lay down. This is annoying. Might need to cut it again. They also have this little cutter, like right here on the side, so you could just do like that. And that usually gives you like a pretty clean cut. A pretty clean cut. There we go. Pull that through. And then wanna hook everything around. Okay, there we go. Now we need to do a tuck strip because I don't have a whole bunch of this fabric and whatever I'm doing, okay, honey, needs to work. So put this in here, right? Put that in here. Where's the thing? Put the foot down. Bismillah. Up, uh, live it up. Uh. Oh, okay. That seems to be working. But we do need to quickly look up um, what kind of stitch works for a stretchy taffeta. The only thing with this machine for like the stitching, I think they call it like the width, it doesn't have that on here. This one. This one just has, uh, this one just has these, like different stitches that you can do, and it's a good amount, like 17 of them. Um, but I need to look up which one works best. So let me see. I hope I won't end up regretting this, but I cut a little bit off the bottom to test like the stitch. This is it, and I think that looks good. And when I look at it from the inside. It has like a good pull. It's stretching with the fabric. It's not like ripping or anything. So I think this is the one. So let's try. And I like the way that the pink blends in. I think from here you can see like the true color of the material. It's like a big, a burgundy, but if you took it a couple shades down, it could be a hot pink. So let's get this on my girl. It's so silly. It's so childish, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous because the wedding is tomorrow because I really want to wear this because I really want to succeed in this project like I don't want to fail and I'm just trying to tell myself like it's okay like nothing is perfect like it's okay even if the dress comes out okay it's okay you get me uh, it's all right it's okay I don't want to mess up the fabric you know I'm trying to sew straight I'm trying to be Good. Girl. Ha. And again, this is what hobbies are about. It's trying to just enjoy things. Just have a good time with things. And even realizing that like, even with the clothes that I've bought, there have been imperfections. Like, this is not one of those things where you're gonna be perfect where everything is like boom, 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 boom. But I do want it to be nice and I do really want to wear this. It's also 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've been doing this already for like two hours. Um, so 
I really need to get up and get dressed at like one. I need to go and start getting dressed. So I really need to get this done. <laughs> All that to say, I really need to get this done. So this is that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Already a problem, already an issue. What's going on? It's okay, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. Nobody needs to call Paw Patrol. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be okay. There was just a very crucial step that I was missing and I was having the issue before and I thought I was like knowing what I was doing and I wasn't. But no worries, babe. We fixed it. We fixed it, girl. I was sweating and everything, but no worries, baby. It's fixed. It's all right, it's fixed. It's no biggie. Okay, Bismillah rahman rahim I love you with me. <laughs> Boom, there we go. It's working. I'm, 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 I gotta rethread it again. I messed up. And that's okay. Okay, it's okay to mess up. Bismillah. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. You just gotta, I don't know if y'all can see it. But this is the little bit that we sewed. We sewed, sewed, soon, whatever. We sewed this. <laughs> and that looks really good, I'm loving that. So we're just gonna pull it from the bottom. From the bottom. This is the even though this is like really far and we're going to eventually have to cut this, but that's okay. That's alrighty. I think from right here, I got it all chalked up, marked up, and I have the pins, so. Woo! Nervous. Okay, just doing that. That's, this is not, this is, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, it's okay. Just doing that. Okay, let me show you. Hold on. Who is she? That looks good. I'm sorry, the glare. That looks good. Uh, stop. Stop. Call Vera Wang. Tell her I'm on the phone. <laughs> okay. Stop it a lot. Inshallah goes well. Let's sew a little bit more and then I'm going to check in with y'all. I want to show y'all where we are. We just finished um, sewing up that side. Don't worry about that, it's just dirt from the machine. But it looks amazing, if I do say so myself. Like, it looks good, it looks straight. What I just realized, remember I was like, oh, I gotta turn the fabric on the other side because when I turn it inside out, I'm so used to watching people make other dresses in order to learn how to sew, I remember I just remembered when I was halfway through, a caftan is not the same. There is no inside out. So, this is gonna show, which I don't mind, because I think it looks good. Um, I don't mind it showing, to be honest. And it kind of like blends a little bit. You can still see it, but it doesn't look like, like it matches, it goes. Um, 
It's 12.43, I need to go get ready at one. It's probably gonna be 1.15. But we're gonna sew up this other side and then we're gonna see how it's looking. Here is the middle. So I think as of right now, it looks pretty, pretty proportionate. So let's sew up the other side and then let's see. God is so great, this looks amazing. Like here's the line, here's the line. It looks straight, it looks symmetrical. I put it in half and put these lines up against each other and they're damn near perfect, damn near perfect. So now I wanna cut the neckline. So I gotta cut here and then cut here and then cut here. And I wanna try it on. I don't think we're gonna have time to put on a belt before I need to start getting ready, but let's see. Okay, this is her. Now, it looks frumpy, dumpy, clumpy. Um, even though like this, I'm in love. Like, I'm in love, I'm in love. Let me, so y'all can see the bottom. I have to take a lot off of the bottom. And I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna tuck this hem. And I feel like I should, but I kinda also like, like, the frills. But this is her, the fit. It's nice. I don't want it contoured to my body, but I'm definitely going to, I'm gonna add a belt. I am. I am gonna add a belt. Um, and of course, you know, the belt is optional, but I like the shape. I like the, I love the color, love the fabric, love the sheen. Uh, I forgot to tell you, I picked this color because the wedding for to, the wedding tomorrow, we had to choose colors that like coordinate with navy blue. So I, I, I was like, okay, I can wear red. I love it. I love it. Uh, the neckline is a little big. It's from like here to here. I just cut across instead of like cutting like that. Um, and I don't hate it. I might need to sew it up a little bit, but. Girl, uh, who is she? Yeah. Here he is. Extremely noisy. The dress is extremely noisy, but yeah. So, this line is where I need to cut in order to hem it. I'm about 55 and a half, 56 inches tall, and this is 58. So, bismillah. Because I wanted to leave some room, because I do want it to hit the ground. More likely than not, I will be wearing heels. Um, and I will also use this bottom part for the belt. Um, ooh, these scissors are not good. I need to get some new fabric scissors. Okay, so this is after hemming it, and I love it. Like this is this is what I'm talking about. Like this is this is good. Um, I may have wanted it to hit the floor a little bit more, but I think it might. I have like this big prayer garment under here, so that might be taking a fabric. Um, but this is good. Like I don't want a dress that I'm like tripping and falling all over. Um, this is good. This is great. Now with these, because they like just hit my wrist. I think I'm just going to, let me show y'all. I think I'm just gonna like fold this like that. Like I'm not gonna do a whole lot of folding cause then it's gonna be up my arm. So I think I'm just gonna fold it like that. And I think with it folded like that, yeah, we're gonna be good. So just to hide that because I was thinking like, oh, should I leave it out? It doesn't look chic to me. It looks, undone so for the bottom i don't know girl i wanted to like fold that too so that you don't see the undone edges but i don't want to run it up on my legs so let's see okay i can't show you my head because i don't have my scarf on but i sewed up the sleeves this is how it's looking i gotta do this side this is how it's looking so what we have left we have to clean up this hem at the bottom, clean up the neckline, and then add a belt. But now that I think about it, 
I don't know how this material is gonna take to a belt. Um, but yeah, girl, the girls are moving. The girls are moving. Okay, this is the best preview that I can give you for how the dress came out. I put the belt in, it is a little uneven and I feel like it's making it look wonky, so I'll probably have to fix that. But I gotta go, I gotta go get dressed, I gotta leave, I, gotta, I got things to do. Um, but yes, this is the dress. And I'm so happy with it, I'm so pleased with it. And just the feeling of like, yeah girl, you can do hard things. It's gonna take a while, but you can do it, like it's fine. So, thank y'all so much for coming along with me on this journey of my new hobby. Um, the finished product, inshallah, will be posted on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna post, gotta post this one. But for anybody out there that is considering a hobby, that wants to try something new, do it. You have the money, you have the time, you have the resources, do it. If you have limited resources, but it's a way for you to still get it done, do it. Like, you're missing out on the beauty of life by not trying new things, by being afraid to fail, by, by being too afraid to do difficult things. You are worthy, you are deserving, and it is so much fun. It is absolutely fabulous. So, thank y'all so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.